Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse. And with me today, I have the illustrious... Who, who are you? Today? I'm not sure. Right, I'm not sure. Check. How you well, doing? Y'all you're, you're all, you're all together. I'm good. I feel good. Listen, look at my shirt. Look here. Yeah. Are you proud? Look here. Your gray hair goes good with Yeah. <laughs> Hell, I'm, my gray beard goes with my... I, I like it. What do we got? We got... Today, we, we've got a great show. We, we're going... The industry as a whole, we have lost a ton of shows. Mm -hmm. We've got to get some shows back. We got to quit showing on the same date as another show, right. and then have a vacant weekend. It's not, it's it's not helping us. It's not helping us grow. True. These are things that show managers need to talk about. Right. Uh, it's like other, right in my area near my hometown, Mount yeah. Pleasant, Summertown, Home Wall, mm -hmm. Grinder Switch. Uh, They're all over the place. Uh, we used to have one at Chapel Hill. Yeah. I mean, tons at Spring Hill. No shows. I mean, well. None of them have it, but we have two shows on one night, which... Yeah. Then, but I tell you what, before we ever do anything, we're going to go ahead and take a short pause for Let's our sponsors, it. then we're going to come back and we're going to lay it on you. Got it. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back. Uh, I tell you what, Tommy. Yep. We we I, I put a post out that wanted to know. You know, I was just asking, what can we do to beef up shows and and promote our horse? Right. I got some good topic. The, I got some of the best replies, and I mean good replies about novice, a true novice class. Yeah. Not showing on the same night. Uh, it, it it was just so much on there that it it, I mean, it really really was good. I'm reading some of them here, and it's a good topic first. But the answers here that I'm seeing that were posted on the internet are fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. well, I free, like true novice. You know, shows mm -hmm. getting on each other's dates, listen to supporters outside the circle. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's just one right makes after more, another. More on incentives. I mean, really. Yep. Well, I do have to do this. Uh, we have a lot of shows coming up. This weekend, we're going to be doing live stream the Southern, Southern Championship. Championship indicator. They have uh, revised their class sheet. They're going to add three classes, uh, and it's going to be a show pleasure racking, Alabama uh, walking horse ladies, ladies, ladies sure, yeah. and fine harness, which I love fine harness. Yeah. Uh, you can call Bud Fox, 770-356-5924. And my old buddy Mike Sims is going to judge. I'm, we'll do, I'm, Mike will do a great job. He's mm -hmm. judged a celebration before. Yeah, I, I think judged in 80... 
Don't tell how old he is, Tom. No. I mean, that's a long I, time ago. 80, 40 years ago. No, he just <laughs> in uh, 99. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I had to flip back in the, you know, my Rolodex. We also got the spring showcase. Uh, it's a fast showcase this, this spring. Mm -hmm. That is always a great show. Let's see. Robert Cortner, Rod Sagel, and my buddy Sam Zara. Yeah. He's a good one. Rod Slagle's a guy from up near Sparta, Cookville area. Yeah. That's going to be great the uh, 15th through uh, 15th and 16th. And um, it's going to be in the Cal Sonic. If you want any information, call Sarah Smith. She'll take care of you. 931 580 5085. And let me see. Then That'll we be got a good the, show. Yeah. We got the spring extravaganza. Now, that, that's going to be Carol Misseldine. They're coming down and doing it. It's going to be on the 23rd right. at the Ag Center. Yeah. You can call Carol at 9, uh, 919 437 6597. David Sisk is going to be the judge. And after that, we won't have another show until the cancer because show. The flag and, goes up uh, there. Chad but, Williams. Because when they had their show before, a couple of those judges went and judged celebration. Yeah, that's true. Think about that's true. that. That's well, she's only got one judge this time, David right, Sisk. Right, but, but the other one will have yeah. three. Oh, yeah. And then you got, uh, but walking for cancer, Chad Williams is going to be the judge. Excellent. And Arab picked Scotty Brooks for their football summer classic. Football. Excellent. You know, I like that when they have these shows for, for high school sports. Mm -hmm. To me, that's an that's avenue we need to go after. Pursue, I mean, yeah. really and truly, we need to go to these schools and talk to them about having Ricky Richardson in Shelbyville, his sister is really involved with tennis. socket, tennis. Yes, sir. And they have had horse shows that have benefited that, and that's always been good. Oh, Rick, Ricky's hard working. Ricky his, and his, his sister, yeah. His sister knows What are his nieces and nephews are involved? They'll have a horse show for yeah. them. i tell you, one of those answers that I got on uh, to promote the horse industry, Rachel Teague. Yeah. Now she was, that was a good one. she was dead on from start to finish about teaching kids and having competition. And I know that uh, Denise Rowland, myself, and Kathy Sice, we spoke with a state senator several years ago about having competition in schools. Mm -hmm. and, and I think if, if we could ever get it started to where we only, maybe three or four schools, you know, competing against mm -hmm. each other, we can make it grow, but we've got to have that initial input. I mean, it is, it is not a hard guess on, you know, getting kids involved, like my brother's farm yep. uh, and my sister-in-law's farm, Sugar Creek. Don't you think it's not a big deal that Liberty School is across the street? Well, yeah, it is. It is a is. huge deal. Well, and, you know, eventually they'll have a kid come over, get a ride lesson, and then it'll build from there. Part of their escape uh, for the safety escape deal from that school is being in the building at Riley Star. Well, right with Sugar Creek now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, my son coaches archery. Right. And they do it after school. Archery is not an inexpensive sport. I no. mean, they, them bows cost. Of course, not everybody wants to get a horse, but it was brought up in some of the comments mm -hmm. about getting these trainers involved. Exactly. Leasing horses, and every, every trainer has got a padded horse or a, a flat shot horse that anybody can ride. Yeah. I'm, so having a horse that you can train kids on and work with. I know Jerry Williams, he has two or three kids that come out there all the time and he lets them ride. Yeah. I mean. Jill Derrickson, I think, does. Yeah. She does too. I mean, it, it, it's something that we could do it if we just all come together and did it. Because right. When, when we had the equine education, the joy and the excitement with the youth that was in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, over 2,000 of them rode a horse. Right. That shows that there is, there's excitement in that, and they, they enjoy it. That was so, the one where David took Walt Time Charlie yes, over there. Yeah, yes. they were everywhere. They had Walt Time Charlie there, had the, a Marin foal there. But Here I mean, go. it's things that, that people can do. Allison, she was over there taking video and talking. Right. I mean, everybody. They, they got on the horses. Mac Deacle, Wayne Hart was there. Yeah. Mac Deacle right was there. doing shoeing. And I talked to uh, the USDA when they was here at the trainer show. And uh, they said, hey, you do it again. We want to come. And, yeah. we, and we have got the funds to do that. Of course. 
but we got to get together, but you've got to create the excitement in schools. And, and that might come to one of the suggestions on there was to go to schools. So if we, if we go around to schools, and that's my next. Uh, this is good. That's a good topic. Uh, that topic doesn't need to just lay there. It's, it needs to be fed. Well, I'm, I'm fixing to give Mark Farrow a headache. Are you? Oh, I am, because I'm going to lay it on him that hey, that's Tweeba's job. That is their job. <laughs> I mean, that's right down the breeze. That is their job. They can do it. And uh, Jack might, might be throwing rocks at me. That's all right. He'll get over it. Jack, they, they'll all get happy. Jack's thrown rocks before. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, it, it, to me, the youth in educating the public to our horse is one of the most vital things that we can do. Absolutely. And I, I enjoy what we do because we have people. I've, I've got a video on my Facebook page of Ray f from the UK talking about watching what horse. I mean, he doesn't have a horse. He wanted Blaze to be his trainer if he ever got uh -oh. one. There you go. <laughs> he, he did have good taste when he yeah, came to pick up the trainer. But see, like that right there, the USDA was out there with them kids. They loved it. They were showing them different parts of a horse. Mm -hmm. and I'm, it, everybody, That's a great deal. Well, there's one thing when everybody come together and actually and educated. Does it, and partici the, everybody participates. That's yeah. the big thing, yeah. Well, I used to go out to... Uh, some of the academy training, mm -hmm. and when they really work with the, the youth and teach them everything, I'm talking about the saddle, the bridle, um, all, all these girls. We went out to Pleasant Valley. Hey, she knows what she's doing out there. I think I remember what a horse even started around the time that the academy started in the Breeders. It's like y'all's well, first year. Well, and, I, and a product of that was Allison Thorson. Yeah. Yep, the second year because we we went to everything they did, we covered and we got those kids out there. Yeah. But they any place they could put up Mill a million question. They, I remember being they, announcing a show there, Mill yeah. question, and us uh, being involved in it. Y'all were there. Well, they had a show if they could put up a ring in a in a warm up area. Yeah. They would put it up, have the horse show in half of it, and getting them ready in another. In the other. I yeah. mean, out at Pleasant Valley, they did it all the time out yep. there. We did it at the Cal Sonic. Uh, we middle did it at middle Miller Coliseum. Middle of the question. Cedar Ridge. It was done, in, and yep. that ring is not that big, but right. we had one there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, it's just a matter of getting people on the same page and getting them to commit that this is what we want to do. And a lot of these, there's one here. That that's, was that's at a Pleasant a Valley there. show right there. But you, to, to get them kids out there, and of course they dress. Another suggestion, was have some classes that are true novice to where you don't necessarily have to uh, have a riding habit on. That's been a, a big uh, topic well, well, about uh, they have a uh, novice class. The, the person can't have won this show in the past year or two years. Well, shoot, that ain't a novice. No, I mean, that's no, that's not true novice. No, that's... That is, I didn't come to the horse show for two years, and it, that does not affect my ability to ride. I want to see a claiming class to where, ah. hey, you have three or four of them. They're and, priced a certain amount? Yeah, price them at a certain amount. That way you don't have your great horses coming in there against your mid-range horses. Every thoroughbred track in the United States has them every day. I know. And mm -hmm. it... Uh, you know, a lot of them go get the broomers that way. They'll have claim in Phillies. Guy come in and buy the first 10, you know, for whatever. To me, it, it just takes, it just takes people saying, well, let's do it. Don't, don't sit over here and talk about right. it. Right. When we did exactly. the, uh, when we did the uh, academy, I mean, the equine education, and they said, well, let's do it. The, as soon as it was said, let's do it, I started calling schools exactly. and talking to the people that could help me. And then bam, 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 started getting all these emails, kids wanting to come. If, if, sometimes you plan too much. You right. Get out here and say, let's start contacting schools and see what interest we got. Right. Once the interest is there, people be coming out of the woodwork. Everything will fall into place. <laughs> that's way exactly it, right. That's the way it works. People will jump up and say, hey, I want to help with that. It sounds like it's good. Yeah. And it can grow. But That was a big deal. David, when he took walk time, Charlie, I remember him talking about it. He said, man, every kid in America 
petted this horse. Hey, you know. hey, it was, he I was the current you, champion of the world. The most touching of the whole thing. When Herbert Derrickson was singing the national anthem, his mic went dead. The kids started singing. Ah. And that's like, now, I'm telling you, Tommy, if you was there. Oh, I bet it was chilling. Hey. I it, saw a video it was, of it. I wasn't there, though. It'd make the hair stand up on the back of your neck. You yeah. just think, said, man, this is just something special because those kids, they were into it. They loved it. Well, now we got some. Where are we headed? Little, commercial? Well, well, now we got a little sad topic to talk about. Ah, God. We always, mm. we, we lose. I love this horse. We lose great trainers. We lose great horses. And uh, one of the horses that we lost was John F. K.'s pusher, better known as, as Homer. Homer. Yeah. This was mm. a five-time world grand champion, yeah. six-time world champion. He would have been 25 his birthday, but what, what he had won over 50 blue ribbons with the lady of his choice, Robin McDonald. Exactly. Robin, I, I can still remember the night she won a world grand That's championship. A lot of, I, I always was admired the way she rode him because I knew she had her hands full. She had a lot of horse there and a lot of power, and but she could ride him. Well, I can tell you one thing, when I watched her the night of celebration and she run out of that ring on him at, down that East Grand stand, I, I'm telling you, it, it, was, it made a statement that just, it's just amazing. There he is right there? Yeah. That's a lot of horse for a little lady, I'm telling you. Well, I he know. Was, he Robin, always did well. Robin loved that horse, Bruce loved that horse, and uh, and he was one, I mean, he was a big horse. He was if I'm not six. mistaken, he was uh, retired over here in Shelbyville at, uh, I think, Justin Harrison, yeah. him, maybe, they had him over there? There he is, Homer. God he, bless him. He was him. a good one. And I know he, he'll be missed. I know Robin missed him. Oh, golly, Moses. Okay, what, what else we got? We got some other stuff. I have to read their directions here. Oh, yeah. Here, here's one of the things we're going to talk about. Put the flyer up there. Tweet a flyer? There we go. Look, hey, everybody needs to look at this. Everybody needs to get some thought. <coughs> they need to call the breeders and say, hey, I want to register for a horse. And I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. There, there is things out, uh, different sites out here that are selling horses. I talked to a lady the other day. She, she said she had a list a mile long wanting to purchase Tennessee walking horses, mm -hmm. registered Tennessee walking horses. And you can go and, and look and you'll see the price of a registered walking horse is way under higher than a one that is not registered. But I'm telling you, look at the prices of them. High. These are Tennessee walking horses. Listen, they had a, a very well-known trainer in Kentucky, sold a trail horse. Yeah. He had a lot of look to him, now he's pretty. Uh, he, he's by deal. Yeah, on a deal for real. Eighty thousand dollars. I believe he's on there because we got twelve. There he is, right there. Yeah, Deal me Jacks. Right there. Tommy Lloyd. Oh. Deal me Jacks. Whole eighty thousand dollars. But the key is they want them registered. If you look at the price of the registered Tennessee walking horse right. selling versus the ones that are not registered, mm -hmm. there's a significant difference in the value. Right, you're so, exactly hey, right. People want to say what they want to. They need. I, I have never had a horse I didn't raise. They're considered great. I mean, when we, we I worked for Wise's Farm all those years, and Woody and Sand Creek, and all of them. I worked for Woody a lot too. That in at that at time, well, they were. You had to sell them as great. Well, I if mean, you don't if you don't register them. What do you got? I mean, I, people say, well, it's a gilded. I don't care if it is a gilded. No. Register the horse. Let them know that he's a purebred horse. He's a Tennessee walking horse, and here's the papers that show exactly. when he was foaled, when he, when he was everything. It shows everything mm -hmm. about him, and that's it. And that's what we need. But please, register the horses. Absolutely. I don't want one that's not registered. It makes a big difference. You now, think there are any registered steers out there? Absolutely. Uh, hey, it makes a big we're, difference. We're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Bunch of them. <laughs> Thank you.
Jim DeWin started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jim would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the Amateur Four-Year-Old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both Amateur and Open Show Pleasure Divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both Open and Amateur Divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once. And deliver to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I don't want anybody to forget the winner's circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winner's circle when you're getting your equine needs. It's Jerry Harris and Jim Fuller with the latest in the world of horses, including information and clips from area shows. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, now we're going to head to the trainer show because we got it. some victory passes. Take a look. Hey, they had they had a great show. I, I had Man, those off to the trainers. Now they didn't mess around. They had a little problem with the USDA, but that passed. Sky's masterpiece and Tanner Burks. For Eddie Guthrie. Eddie Guthrie. That's right. Did you see where his wife showed up and smoked? Yeah. Two-year-old Marin Gildan. This was reserved, but look at the walk on this horse. I mean, this horse got it done. Tanner's a good, good trainer. He, good he young is. guy. He, 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 super good. Super good young man. Great job. You know, somebody said there wasn't many people at the, the trainer show. Yeah. That down on the rail, all the people was up top. Yeah, nobody sits. Yeah, yeah. I mean, very few people sit on the rail. I always sit on the top. Uh, brain power and Jake Jacob. I tell you, he's a good. One. That horse right there, all, I've always liked him. Debbie Eichler loved him. Debbie but, loved him. Man, that was a topic just the other night. Uh, Joey and I were talking. You know. I wonder why she sold it because he was such a great horse. I'll tell you, people will put pressure on her to sell a horse, so she'll stick a price on them she don't think they'll pay. Well, <laughs> that, that's, why she, that's why she sold minor ordeal. Really? Yes, sir. She put a price on him and, and, and she pay said, she, "Well, she put the price on him." She said, "Now they'll shut up." They did. They called her and said, "We got you money." We'll, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's Here's been, a king thing. Uh, Bob Adcock. I tell you what. Bob Adcock is one of my favorite. He's a jewel now. Amateurs now he is. He just 
He's just a super, super this, good guy. <laughs> this, is, this is one guy swapped for a, a truckload of shavings. Yeah. The story, I love the story. Just, he's just a great horse. I bet you he ain't going to swap in for no shavings. He was out there originally, out there at uh, Uncle Nearest, out there with uh, yeah. Jerry Williams. Now, I'd swap a lot of shavings for him that way. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Bob would take you up on it. Tanker Little Phil, maybe we don't like it. He's just a good horse. Bob has a big time. Uh, he does. He loves this horse. His, his daughter does too now. Ashley they, does she rode her. last year. Uh, Scott, Scott passed away, so they were up uh, with Scott's funeral. And uh, Ashley came down Young and came down and rode, yeah. yeah. Right here is I'm dancing for dollars and Jimmy McConnell for Elsie Andrews. I really like this mare. Now, I, I really do. Just a it's nice, solid, just keeps going, as Molly calls them. Molly her, Walters, her, be Molly Walters. Her, 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 I know her, this her is girls. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. She got, some, she got some good mare. She got a good stud too. Oh, 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 real good one. Yeah. That big bang of hers is fantastic. Well, this is good. What, is, what, what is this by? I'm dancing for dollars. I'm not sure who, what, what she's by. I'll have to ask Molly. Key to the button. Right there she is. She's mm. limitless. You know, yeah. you know, I own that Mary, by the way. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at her. I tell Can you, you imagine her? <laughs> Golly. When we do these videos, Tommy, we upload them to YouTube. Yeah. And I send the YouTube link yeah. to them. Yeah. And a lot of times if I'm late, I get them phone calls wanting to know where those where links are. Yeah. Where, where are those links? Yeah. This mare is by Sky Command from Kentucky, Tommy Grider. Boy, can you imagine her bread to Jose? Woo! Hello. Oh, my God. Mm. I just don't know where the Molly'd give up showing. Ah, you yeah, could flush her now. She'd be an embryo transfer yeah. for sure. Embryo, yeah. Eastbound and down in Derek Monahan. Shane Porterfield. Shane Porterfield. Murfreesboro. Hey, that was another good one. Shane tickled me. I asked him, I said, you know, I really like that horse of yours. And he said, well, I want you to do something. And then he said, but you know, he said, I want you to do something with my four-year-old too. He said, he was in there with a good one. A good Derek's one. a good rider. Derek. Uh, back when we first started Freak of the Week, back years ago, you know, he sent us two of the best young two-year-olds, and we still got to be young. This has to be 10, I mean, 12 to 15 years ago. He was in Virginia, way back in the woods, cold. Mr. True Blue. He looked good. I tell you what, I really like this horse. He did not make a blunder. He looked good the whole show. Mr. You know, uh, I don't know, I can't remember who the little girl was that told you he's a pretty good picker. This Jake Jacobs is a pretty good picker. Oh, yeah, he is. I can't that remember who said Michael, that. Michael Wright's kid. Michael Wright's kid, yeah, right, yeah. He said that he's just a good picker. All right, I Jake guess. Jacobs is a good picker. Yeah, I ain't no doubt about it. He's Janie he's Chapman's a good picker. Some of, them, good some of them couldn't pick one for, to save their life, but these guys find good horses. This is a great horse. Right there. Ah. Hey, that's my man, Kenny. Kenny Smith. The R308. And uh, he's an amateur trainer. Buzzard View Stables. That's where he's. I think Mount Sterling. That's Dr. Uh, doc, the veterinarian. Yeah. Dr. Dahlia Hart. That's her dad. Dahlia Smith Hart. Tell you what, her and her dad both can flat ride. They're amateur riders. They're true amateur riders. He has a business, I think more grocery business or something. Yep. And then she's a veterinarian, true AOT. No trainers involved at all. But it's called Buzzard View Stables. Kind of like Elliot uh, Baru McWaters. Uh, he, he's strictly amateur, but he loves it. Yeah, right, yeah. They like riding their own, yeah. Manny mm -hmm. and Taylor Walters. I really like this horse a lot. He, he, he is a consistent horse. Consistently makes good shows. Jimmy McConnell said it over and over. He said, man, I wish I had 10 amateur riders just like her that could 
make my horses look this good. He said she can ride a horse. She worked hard on getting there. Yeah, too, absolutely. It don't come overnight. Now listen, some of these horses are hard to ride. But some of these riders, they work at it and they listen, they pay attention. They don't think they know everything. And yeah. Taylor was one of them. I remember Jimmy talking about her. He, he was thrilled with the way she, she was willing to listen and take direction. David got all my calls that I couldn't ride. <laughs> I got on a couple my dad bought. My dad wanted me to ride them so bad. I said, hey, Dad, this ain't a disco up here. This ain't much fun. <laughs> Reckon David can can. We had a canter. So that, yeah. boy, that really got me. Well, now she worked hard on learning look how here. to canter because of the who. Yeah, look here. Right uh -oh. here, Allie Joe. I'm going to make a prediction because this young lady in that 11 and under division, yeah. she's going to be as hard to beat as Caitlin Rippey was. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it oh, yeah. because she works at it. She doesn't play around this, now. The key is that lady right there. Oh, yeah. But when she you goes You don't in even there, know how much talent she's got. Oh, Lord. She's a great instructor. But Lee Stewart has been, she is just, uh, and there are a lot of them out there. I like all yeah, of them in all of them town. There's a bunch of them, a bunch, bunch of them. real good instructors. But buddy, she's a little different now. She can, look at this kid. This right here, all this is going to be real vital in the academy. Of course, that young lady they ain't ever going to see no academy. Look how she, she sits in the saddle. I mean, that is. Anybody. She's there. She bring, Lee brings the classy, the way that they sit in the saddle like on a saddle bread. I mean, that's what he brings. Look here, Dark Rain. Dark Rain, Edgar Abernathy. You're getting that fast step in there. First time I saw him was down in Philadelphia, Mississippi two years ago. And Joel Stewart had bought him. And a guy that was working for Edgar showed him. And I thought, oh, my Lord. It's nice now. Oh, because sit way back in that bridle. Look here. I wonder if he measures pony. I think he does. He, he has to be close. Look here. Molly's a pretty good picker, too, don't you think? Well, now, Taylor picked that one. Oh, she did? <laughs> From what I hear, Taylor did. Dark rain, yeah. Look. Yeah, I believe the Taylor's the one that jumped on that was what I was told now. Boy, he can punch it now. Tell me about it. I'm big enough. I'm going to say something. Maxine Beasley, go ahead. Maxine. She was the only horse in there. Grant you. But some, that is about the hardest thing to do because every eye in the stands, everybody's looking at this little mm -hmm. girl. These little bobble, they they're going to They bought this coat from... They called, bought it for Beth. Yeah. And Maxine Beth. ended up with it. Yeah, the pony coat. Uh, they've got several ponies, yes. but they bought this one from Jimmy and Carol Lackey. They had him as a two-year-old investment or whatever, and they bought them from from him, from them. You know what their email is? Oh, uh, I want ponies or something. I, I want a pony. I want a pony. Yeah, <laughs> right. I remember that. Yeah, these are good kids. I want a pony. Well, their mom, their mom, she's. Beth is our age, David, me, David. She's like right in the, she's, I think she's more David's age. But that's all they showed back in the day were ponies. Everly Rowland had their horses for Mr. Beasley and uh, Jim Beasley, old Mr. Jim. And they were in the ponies. Right here. here. Switchblade and Jimmy McConnell for LaRue and Ann McWater was one bad cat. Look here. And that is why Shane Porterfield, yeah. he said, hey, I want to do mine because mine look pretty good. And that's a problem we got now. F We've got some great four-year-olds, buddy. SF, five-star stains, you know what you can get. Hey. You know, he, all right, so he's by Jose. He is out of Bowie Williams's show pony, a little silver dollar mare. She's out there at the farm now at Sugar Creek. And that is, uh, I, she's bred back, I think. Now, I can't, don't quote me on that. Or she's got a coat by her side. I'm not really sure. Well, I can tell There's you, too many out there. I can't keep up with them all. Look at here. The four-year-olds that we've got, though, Tommy. Yeah. I'm telling you now. Boy, he can be, fetch behind. Be now, look here. Honor's this is image. Honor's Image and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. 
you got a completely different lick. Country but, walking now. Hey, right. That is a flat that, walking list. Get with it, I, horse. That right is there. a different lick, and it's kind of a more of a walkie push and pull. I mean, he he's got he's got that perfect walking horse gait. He can fly walk now. Oh, hey, tell tell me about it. He ain't missing a beat either. That kid's a good hand. Yes, he is. I wish there's only one thing wrong with that horse right there. You don't own him? Yep. <laughs> my, name, my name is or not on the I am sure now, Shane will help he, you. He, he might make a deal. Yeah, he'll make a deal. <laughs> he may be. Can't ever tell. You know when I know he'll make a deal? When he comes out of the horse show with about every ring ring on every <laughs> finger. His Mr. wife is Heisman. Oh, he's a good one. Hey. I got his cap right down here in front of him, so he is he is honestly one of my favorites. Bruce. Bruce making a ride. You know, for a long time, I didn't even know Bruce rode them. One night he showed over in Federal this several years ago. And, oh yeah. And his uh uh, girth broke. I'm standing there looking, and the girth is hanging down, and they're hollering at him, and I was hollering, "Don't step off!" Yeah, <laughs> don't move. Where his face Don't step off. Yeah, no kidding. That's a vital piece of equipment. <laughs> well, I didn't you. If he tried to step off that horse, honey, he's gonna hit the ground. Right there, Georgia, Florida Ooh, line. This horse. And this horse is good in a couple of divisions now. Hey. Well, they dropped. They changed him back and forth. They had him in one, and park then they performance then and they then show pleasure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but look here. They put him in that push and pull class, and he did good. But then they put him in here, and uh, shoot, boy, he turned it on. So he and he's got that walk, that flat walk. Let's get it done. Benny Johnson, amateur show pleasure. I would That's say cool. the reason there is why they picked it. Because uh, Joyce Marie, his daughter, won the yeah. Show Pleasure World Grand Championship one year. Here we go. My Mike one. one and Jimmy McConnell. I still got a feeling that Molly's going to end up in that saddle. Mm -hmm. I, I can't help but feel that. Registered first is I'm Merle Haggard. He was broke in what's now Pleasant Valley. West of the Wind broke him. My kid broke him. And there's a full sister or something out there right now to him that somebody has. Well, he can flat walk. He can do it. Back now. up and watch him go. Donnie Taylor and Mike Floyd were partners on two horses. Yeah. This one and Jen Almighty. And Mike took Jen Almighty and Donnie took this one. Both of them great. Yeah, well, yeah. <coughs> I'll tell you what, I like him. They were dissolving a partnership, and you pick one, I pick one. They went on one celebration with Jenna Mike. All right, and we're going to show a couple of classes, or victory passes, really, from uh, the Smokies. What's up? Because we didn't go up there, and we, we, uh, we just beautiful we, scene. We didn't make it up there, period. Right there is the amateur 50 and over class which was an outstanding class. I'm thinking Sarah, Sarah won Burks won this she one. She sure did. Yeah. She won that class, but that man right there that you just saw, yeah. he made a great show. Paul Simmons, yeah. on it, he just, he, he, he is doing great. Now, he He's really some is. good horses. Yes, he does. Got that is. He's got one heck of a trainer, too. Oh, yeah. Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Sarah. That's Sarah Coffee. Sarah Coffee Burke. I'm trying to see who else is in here. Sister Milligan's in there. Yeah, she's in there on, I think, uh, it's not her mayor, it's the other one. Here that comes is, Paul uh, Simmons down through there. Look at that horse. That's a deal horse. FaceTime. Yeah. I believe that's FaceTime that she's on. Well, I'll tell you what. I wanted to show a couple of these classes simply because Jimbo and all of them did a great job of putting this on, having that ring ready. Yeah. And, and the, they did a tremendous job. So it was it was just uh, all the way around. Great horse show, great facility. 
I was there, I announced it last year. I was scheduled to have oral surgery, which they had to reschedule uh, that Friday night. So Mark Farrah came in, he announced it this year. Did an outstanding job as he always does. Yeah. Pretty good. He did a great job. Look here. Right here's the open bears and gildings with Jimmy on it. All right, that would be the next night? Yes. He wins this, yes. does he not? Yeah. Look at this, look at this one that he's in there with. Now he's in there with that's that big, that's that, our, their sister's married right there. Tanner's on it. Several good ones. Majorette, Dixie Majorette. That's her. He's winning this. Yeah, that's Dixie Majorette. That's that big mare of Tyler Bauckham's. I can't, or she's a, a Charlie mare. Yeah. We've had her victory pass. Oh, my brain's not working. Yeah, Jimmy's kind of, kind of commanding this one. It's weird, you know, see that sun coming in? A lot of times, the horses will jump that, shot, that sun. When David had his coat preview, we had him jumping. Look here. Mr. Oriel and Jimmy McCall. Paul and Tiffany Simmons. I like talking to Nice. Yeah, I met him. He's a great guy. Oh, Jerry Williams likes a lot of him. Look here. But there he is, Mr. Farrell. Get her done, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy just takes everything as it goes. He mm. made a great show. Good deal, Jimmy. And I tell you what we're going to do, we're going to go straight to commercial because go. we got a lot of video to go. We'll be right back, folks. All right. I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden. I couldn't do my flower beds. I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back. And that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. Okay. All right. Here, here's what we've thought about. Yep. We're losing too many shows. That's right. We got to get them back, and we're fixing to show everybody why we got to get them back. Mm -hmm. Because big, big crowds, big classes, great camaraderie. Really, I mean, it was. Um, They're money makers. This exchange. This is art. Now, this showgrounds right here is no longer there. Right. They tore them. They down. tore this all down. But they got Miller Coliseum. Right. Let me they give you a little history right here. See the bleachers at the showgrounds? Yes. Those were the bleachers used in downtown Murfreesboro when President Kennedy came through. After they were, yes, sir. Right. I mean, after they were done with them, they brought them out here to uh, Old Fort Park and put them out there. This is where the first international was back in 1979. Well, well I can remember watching George Ann Pratt. I watched the, the Kentucky people come down. To the, yeah. I mean, this was a great place to have a horse show. And, I don't know. I just <coughs> It was great. They they lost the arena, big deal. You got the Miller Coliseum. I wish that it would come back because that was a great show over there. 
and the people. I mean, it's always packed in there. They was ready to show. Good bleachers. Good Look at Jordan, Jordan Edwards right there yeah. on the road. Oh, yeah. Jordan Denny now. They've just, uh, right there, know who those two people were sitting there? The Brant Brantleys. The Brantleys. Yeah, I saw <laughs> them, yeah. So, but I mean, it, this was great, great venue. Great that venue. That was Billy's granddaughter. Grinder switch. Everybody yeah. remember the big hat. <laughs> it was something else. Centerville, Tennessee, Grinder Switch area. Bob Cherry was very instrumental in getting it going, Chip Walters and others. And it was indoors. Yep. You know? I tell you what, though, we, when we lost in, them. In about 50 miles of that spot is where we lost a majority of them. That would be Summertown, Mount Pleasant, Hornwall. Dixon. Uh, Lawrenceburg, Dixon. Oh my gosh, Dixon used to have a tremendous horse show. There's Callie Stuckey when she was Callie Stuckey. Yeah. I think she won that too. Catherine Ramsbottom on her good mare. The attorney, Amy Cross from Franklin. And there's Callie right there. Bowie Williams, hello. He could ride back then. Back then, look at a little boo. <laughs> I, that's a Derrickson. I'm not sure who that is in the front. That may be Thomas or one of them. They're about the same age. I tell you what, though, Tommy, when you when you look back at these and you realize when, when you first lose them, you don't think that much about it. But then it starts that. If you go up. back and look at these videos, you think, look at the people. I know. I the, mean, box the people seats, box seats are everywhere. So, yeah. Wanting to just come to watch a horse. I mean, There's it Harvard. Was, this Eagleville, yeah. Eagleville, Tennessee. Now they ch that locale they changed that. That that right there is if you go up to Eagleville and take a left, uh, that's where it was. It used to be behind the old school, but the funny thing about that track was it was on a hill, so it had a tilt to it. But this was out there where they had the rodeo and other things. Well, Great you know, I talked that they were. This flat shot class down there one night. Look at the crowd. Had, well, yeah, it was a big crowd. They'd bring ice cream maker down there. Yeah. And, I mean, all kinds of stuff. The little old ladies that would sell, I say little old ladies by my age now, mm -hmm. they, they'd be in there selling pastries. I'd say these little sugar older free. ladies. Yeah. I'd say, are these sugar free? And one woman tell me, said, every one of them, darling, how many you want? <laughs> That's Catherine Ransbottle on Contendo. Yep. He's by Jose out of a bean mare. Prize if you there. notice that that was the dangerous track, though, because you see how the rail is. Mm -hmm. Them steel spikes with the with the board is right below. But that's the way they were. I mean, that's in the day. Uh, yep. All those it. springs are portable. They could put them on football fields, and there's a lot of them out there. Oh, Judy yeah. Young, look here. Yep. Judy. Who else we got? What's that old saying? You don't know what you've got until you. Until it's gone, yeah. It's gone. Right here, Miller Coliseum. Murfreesboro, Kiwanis. This yeah. was the Kiwanis Club over there. That's a brand new Miller Coliseum. I mean, it's fresh paint. That was way back. Yeah, Jack Green's taking pictures. Jack Green in Columbia. He and I both were shooting from center ring. Yeah. They asked the three judges, they said, Jack was fussing about blue lady times. They said, well, you think you can do better? Here, Jack, have at it. Jack told them, said, yeah. I said, Jerry and I can do better. <laughs> they said, what, what are you going to do? He said, I'm going <coughs> to bring them in. We're going to line them up. I'm going to see how many pictures they want, and he's going to see how many videos they want. We're going <laughs> to time accordingly. We're going to time accordingly. That's how you do it. Hey, that's, that's the best way to do it. Just time accordingly. That's Lynn McGregor right there. Hey, look at the people in the stands there. Now, that's when we still, they, I think that will hold 8,500 people. Look at Miss Baum. Yeah. I, I will say this right here, Bobby Hugh. Yeah. Did a fantastic job of getting 
Miss Bond's horse is ready for her. Snow watch in the turn. Indy 500 on the rail. Row row, look at here. Oh yeah, you know where that is? Back Memble, Warren yeah, County. Yeah, Warren County, yeah. I was up there at a horse show one night and, and I'm, I'm fixing people going to shock when I say that Jerry Summers was the judge. Yeah. They had 36 lead line horses. Oh my Lord. He tied all 36 of them <laughs> right down the line. Oh my God. Each one of them come out and got a ribbon. <laughs> Mac Minville, Warren County. That, that track up there went up there next to the grandstands. It went downhill. What, yeah, what is it, like a ball field type yeah, deal? Yeah, something, something like that. Yeah. Now the old one down at the flat, it yeah. would get it would get just muddy, but they have some great shows down there. Now this is up on the fairground. Mm -hmm. And they still have a horse show up there, but it, it, it's not the same as it was. And that place used to, when you'd have a horse show, People be just standing in line out there, you can see, stacked on top of each other. This, all right, so this was a weekend we had McMinnville and something and something. Yeah. There were three there together, and I can't remember which one. Maybe Woodbury? McMinnville's on Woodbury? Look at there. Hey, here's the Huntsville show. Yeah. See, these are some that we, we need to bring them back. At Huntsville Show. Indoors, nice yep. arena. Great place to have a horse yeah. show. Uh, one is the Red Cross Horse Show. They call it the Red, uh, the, well, the, the Huntsville the, Ladies Auxiliary. All right, so, well, okay, yeah. All right, but they had this, um, and I think that whoever the guy was that was in the, the head of Tweeba at the time, I think he headed this up. He's from there. Cagle, yeah. I think that's what his name was. Well, I can tell you, we we need, if we can't get them all back, we need some of them back. We used to, down below uh, Decatur, where we're going this weekend, they there used to have a horse show down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, there was another one down in Alabama that they would, I mean, the show was literally out in a pasture. But a big crowd. Yeah. They went down there and one and, and uh, Wayne Abbey was the judge when I went down I there. I used to too. announce one of battles in Alabama. You're yep. talking about uh, uh, go down Lawrenceburg and take a left and go wind back in there and it's like in a cornfield. Yeah. Yeah. Sure was. But we, we don't have Mount Pleasant. Don't have no. Dixon anymore. Uh, that lady almost fell. <laughs> Mount Pleasant had an all-weather track. Mike yeah. Floyd put it in. Uh, he had a, they, Mount Pleasant has an all-weather track just like the celebration. Well, you know, I brought up the fact that there's Petersburg. Petersburg. Now, Petersburg was Lions Club, and of course, the, the Lions Clubs, these, they, what's happened Jeff is, is the people, they don't, there's Allison, Ar uh, Allison Thorson. Yeah. They, they don't have the members that they used to. Right. And that, and that really hurts the Civic, North Andrews. I think, Jerry, we may agree. Civic, uh, do, civic commitment is just a thing of the past. It is. People are not going to work unless they're getting paid. Well, I'm going to tell you, and, but, my, my answer to that is go to the schools. Yeah. Get the football program. I mean, exactly. they got the, the Alabama's having a football program. Shelbyville's having a tennis program. And, and it's a great way to raise funds over Pe one people, night. People don't have any civic commitment. The last vestige of that would be your uh, Woodbury Lions Club people. I mean, those cats are LaRue. old. They're getting up there. And they these civic groups are dying out. They are, but they, there's one thing I, I, that I can tell you when it comes to, to high school sports, mm -hmm. parents are gonna support it now. Right, they are. I go to an archery tournament. They're, they're gonna support their kids. Packed in, yeah. At these archery tournaments like sardines. Yeah. They're Debbie Ockler. Yeah. I mean, everybody gets in on it when we do this. But I mean, hey, 
We even showed in the dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is dark down there. This would be Perry, Perry Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. At the, at the, uh, I remember we, when we went down that and, is, and uh, did their Southern Championship. That's one we were doing this weekend. Can't yeah. try this one. David Williams called me and he said, are you doing multiple cameras? I said, yeah. He said, I watched for a while before I realized You know who this that. is? Empire, Maker. Empire, Empire Maker. Maker. Manchester, yeah. Tennessee, 23 horses in the three-year-old class. I'm talking to the gentleman and he says, I got a horse that's gonna win first and second place. Said both of them are good. Empire Maker come in and he turned to me and he said, second and third ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, went, I, I, I can't that's remember. That's him, that's Empire Maker. Can't remember who that horse was. I Harry mean, Georgia. That, was. That, that was a fun place to go. That was the Southern Championship. Yes, Southern in, in Championship. the fall, yeah. We went down there for two or three years. Montgomery, it. it was, you know, Montgomery for years and then moved it to Perry. Empire Maker pretty good right there. Yeah, he was a good horse now. He won the fun show as a three-year-old. Steve was upset. Who both. owned it? Hawker Steve Smith? Hawker Smith and Spears. And there's two or three of them. Then somebody else bought him before yep. it was all over. Well, uh, Ricky Sullivan. Uh, right, exactly. My wife, she bought him and she That's showed right. Him. They, uh, they had that horse. And, and, I mean, he, he was great, but he bought on the, on the far side. Yeah. And we edited it out because this guy, we was watching the video at the dinner table, and this boy said, that horse fixing to break. I said, he don't break. Yeah, he did. said, he missed it. I said, no, he didn't either. Well, we edited it out. So when it That's went around it. through there, and he said, I thought he did. <laughs> he That's never how you told, do it. Never told him any different. Just edit that part out. We don't want it. Tell you well, what, we're going to be at the Southern Charity Show championship That's yeah right. i'm excited about it because uh it's now the uh, morgan county arena now is well equipped with wi-fi oh yeah. it has been for a couple years but everybody asks me well you can't hardly shoot out of there yeah you can now oh you can now you can get out you get a good video out you, absolutely you put it out last year i believe while yeah, we were down, we down there, there and it this year, last we're, year we're going off I'm looking forward to it. We're going to get down do there a and get more. set up early. Everybody wants to do it here play by play because what sometimes I recognize something and the people in the audience go, I have no idea who that is. And well, usually they'll bring me the sheets, you know, where I can keep up with who's in the class or what well, have you. I, we will talk to Bud. We will get some over there to where yeah. we can keep up with it. And do a little play through. by play because uh, it helps. Uh, uh, People identify I'm who's w who's doing what. Yeah. Well, I'll be in the restaurant if you need me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, got, good they, got, they got good chicken. They got good good fish. They yeah, got good French fries. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to tune in Friday and Saturday night. We will be live streaming, and we will bring all the information back to you next week. But until then, bye, Tommy. See you. See y'all later. <laughs> Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, uh, please start talking.